Hey, hi folks, how are you doing? Phil from statisticsmentor.com Interpreting a coefficient on a dummy variable. Okay, what's a dummy variable uh, in terms of your x's? When we're looking at the x's, your explanatory variables, and they're dummies, it means that they're a qualitative factor. For example, gender. You can't represent them really by numbers. Male, female, you see. Hair colour black, brown, blah, 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 you know, those are qualitative factors. How we can deal with uh, these qualitative factors, we can incorporate in our model as explanatory variables by using dummies. And the idea is this. We can either, if you have a, f uh, a qualitative factor that has, say, k number of groups, you set up k minus 1 dummies and include an intercept in your model. Or second thing, but less common, is you set up k number of dummies, but you leave out the intercept. Now I'm just going to focus on the first one here, because that's more kind of the regular thing. And it's best to give you an example here. What the heck is a dummy anyway? So let's consider the example here of the earnings data. And I want to see um, regress earnings on gender. But gender, that is qualitative factor. It has two groups male and female. All right. Um, now the rule is, since I have two groups here, I, using the k groups, k is 2 here, so I need to set up 1, k minus 1, which is 1 dummy. Uh, now 1 has been set up earlier. All a dummy variable is, it's a variable that takes only the values 1 and zeros. And if it takes the value 1, it means that that particular measure, thing that is being measured is satisfies the condition. So if we say we set up the dummy for male equals 1, if it's male 0 otherwise, then this first person is coded 1, it means he's male. Second person coded 1, it means he's male. How many observations do we have? We have 540 observations, but you could look down here, 526 person, that's coded 0. That means, um, if not male, means it must be female. Okay, so that's how it works. Now the the thing that has been coded, that is been left out here, it's been female being left out. That is called a reference category, okay. And that's important when it comes to interpretation. As follows, let's run the output. This is what we have. Let's say earning just to keep things real simple is measuring dollars per hour. This is what I hear students telling me after. This is you know you come to dummy variables once you've done the kind of basics in terms of interpreting coefficients in the basic model. So once the students have gone through those lessons, they come to this and they say the following. If male goes up by one unit, earnings goes up by seven dollars per hour. I say it again. If male goes up by one unit, earnings goes up by seven dollars per hour. Uh, now, some of you at the moment are chuckling in your seats. What the heck is he talking about? Male goes up by one unit. What does he mean? Because that interpretation is wrong. Why? This is not quantitative, it is qualitative, and therefore that interpretation that I just gave you doesn't work. Because that one, the, the interpretation I just gave you is for when this thing, x's, are quantitative. So when it comes to qualitative, these the coefficients on the dummies tell you the compares uh, this group. For the, D, for the DV being earnings here, compared to the group that's been left out. So since the females have been left out, because male here is coded 1 if you're male, 0 for female, you would say that a male earns more compared to a female by about $7 per hour. Did you get that? i say it again. The dummy on the male, since it's coded 1 for male, 0 for female, which is comparing therefore the males, to females, it says that males compared to males earn more than females by seven about seven dollars per hour. Okay. Next, that's a case where of a gender that has two groups. Let's pick another one. And what else do I have in my head here? Uh, let's look at what I've got in the data. Um, 